Good morning. Welcome to your Wednesday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. Almost off by a day. <laughs> Rushing this week a little bit. So, um, I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, America's kick-ass coach and psychologist. And we have some words again. I just think this is so interesting that decks pop up for a chunk of time over and over and over again. Wisdom for Healing Deck by Caroline Meese. Good morning, Lucy. Glad you are here. Welcome, welcome. So now we now need to get back into our routine a little bit. Feels, it felt, felt yesterday like it was Sunday. Everything was a little off. Good morning, Abigail. Glad you are here. Looks like someone else just popped through and I missed you. So welcome to everyone who's here. And we have an interesting card today and I want to do a little bit of a, an NLP worksheet in our minds with regard to this card because I think it will help it sink a little deeper. Good morning, Carolyn. Glad you are here. Because the less superficially we take in the information, the better off we're going to be. The more we can sink that down to our core, the more we're going to be able to literally do something with this. Okay? So here is our card. Become better. Better in quotes. So she's on a swing hanging off the moon. A full moon. Good morning. Good morning, Judy. Glad you are here. Um, and we had a full moon the other evening, which was good for stirring up a whole lot of stuff. So if you're feeling a little off, if you're feeling a little stirred, if you're feeling a little less than well, makes total sense. Keep flushing with water, keep going about your business, maybe take a little time to pause and be. Good morning, Cindy. Welcome. Glad you are here. So we've got five of our core group ready to roll, our practical rebels. So become better. Again, I'm going to read it through and then I'm going to walk us through a little bit of an NLP worksheet with it just because I feel like she's on the edge of catching something here and I want to take us deeper into it. So, a couple of nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. In fact, I'm thinking actually today I'm going to do some breath work. It feels like there's some clearing that needs to happen. So getting ready. So, card for today. Become better. Today's lesson. Discover one thing that would make you better and more empowered at who you are and what you do, and make it part of your routine. If this is difficult, identify why becoming better, in quotes, is something you wouldn't want to do. Your goal is to recognize how and why you sabotage your own empowerment. So, let's back up the truck and we'll pick our way through this and take a deeper dive into what this card is wanting us to take a look at and be aware of. Okay, so let's start with what's something and um, Tony Robbins calls them the five to thrive. They're habits that you put into your day that, good morning Teresa, glad you are here, that overall and, and there's good reason all of us are on here today. Ready for this? Hold on to your butts. Here we go. Something that, if it were incorporated into your daily routine, would set you up to be able to um, live more fully who you are, to do more of what you say you're going to do. You know, all those things we say we're going to do and we don't do them, right? So... This can be anything from brushing your teeth to journaling every day to getting some physical activity to um, cutting out sugar, quitting drinking, quitting smoking, whatever it is, okay? And know that I know that that language isn't how we frame it in order to get ourselves to do it, okay? But I want you to just pick one that you know that if you did it as part of your routine would make your life better and you just don't do it. Pick one. I'm sure there's many, because I know I have many. So the one I'm going to pick is physical activity every day. Keep saying I'm going to do it. Keeps falling by the wayside. Have all these lovely excuses. Yeah, the air quality's crappy, so I don't want to walk. And um, when I try to do my yoga online, the dog gets in the way. Yada, yada, yada. All that stuff. Okay, so just pick one. Because you can use this process over and over. You can go back and watch this however many times you want with all the other things that you say you want to do and you're not quite getting done, okay? 
so that one thing that would make you better and more empowered with who you are and what you do, so for me, physical activity. Make it part of your routine. So here's where the voice probably comes in. Yeah, but that's not going to work because this, one, you know, we've tried that before. All that stuff, okay? So now let's do the NLP worksheet a little bit. So what is the outcome you're looking for? I'm looking to feel physically better. That's the outcome I'm looking for. P put it down. If there's anything in there about I should, I ought, I have to, I must, reword it, because that right there is going to stop you dead in the water. Why do you want this? Why do you want this? What's good about doing this? Well, I know I should. No, 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 no. So for me, I want more energy right now. I got There's like a heaviness sitting in my solar plexus that just doesn't feel good. And that needs to go away. So, good morning, Mel. Glad you are here. We're doing a mini NLP worksheet. So, pick something that you know that if you did it on a daily basis as part of your routine would make your life better. Whatever it is, okay? Now we're diving into why are we not doing it? <laughs> and what I will tell you is the subconscious reasons why not to do it currently outweigh your conscious reasons to do it. All right? So we got to shift that. So we're going to do the yeah buts and the what ifs. If, if we've picked out this goal, whatever it is, I'm not fond of the word goal, but we picked out this outcome that we want. So I want to do something physically active every day. That's my outcome. That's what I want. Now I want to look at what are all my yeah buts, what ifs, whatever. On the actual NLP worksheet, this part is called the ecology check. We're writing down every um, potential negative outcome, unwanted consequence, downside of actually accomplishing what we want. So I'll just do mine. You do yours. You can either write it down or you can do it in your head. I like writing down because of how concrete that makes things. And again, we're dealing with your subconscious mind, which is a very childlike, concrete part of yourself. So if you can write it down, fabulous. If you can't write it down right now, maybe go back and do this again a little later today when you can write it down. But potential downsides, negative outcomes, etc., etc. So for me, when I think about doing that physical activity every day, um, I'll need to find time to do it. Where am I going to fit it into my routine? I'll maybe need to buy different clothing to actually go do that stuff. I might need to address the fact that my shoes aren't overly comfortable. $200 shoes, but they really aren't that comfortable when I'm out moving about. Maybe I need to do some acceptance that there's going to be discomfort as a part of this process. Maybe until and if I get things um, ramped up enough, there's going to be some discomfort. Good morning, Linda. We're doing an NLP worksheet. Hang with us and we'll see where we end up. What are the, your downsides? Maybe maybe someone will interfere with my progress. I feel guilty leaving the dog behind when I'm out walking around, but I'm not going to get, he's sniffing everything. I'm not going to get real physical activity with him along, okay? What are all your yeah buts, what ifs, etc.? Put them down. The potential negative outcomes. One for me would also be, and then I have to keep it up forevermore. See how that would set you up to not want to do it, right? No, stay in today. Stay in today. Just for today, okay? But, but put those out there. Now I want you to ask yourself a question. All of those yeah buts, what ifs, potential negative outcomes, downsides, yada yada. Are you willing to risk those? in order to accomplish your goal. Good morning, Beth. Um, for most of us, obviously the answer is no, or we would be doing it, right? So then I want you to figure out which is the deal breaker in that list of yeah, buts, what ifs, negative outcomes, what's the deal breaker? What's the one where you go, yeah, I just don't, yeah. So let me think through mine. Um,
probably the deal breaker for me is I have to figure out what to do. I have to figure out what to do. So then I'm going to come up with my solution for that. Because again, we cannot solve a problem with the same mindset level that created it in the first place. So I have to up-level my thought process here to overcome this apparent obstacle. For me, a good way to go is my little three by five cards and I'll make a list of all the physical activity I could do that I'm going to have count toward this. Places I can walk to, people I can call to walk with. Um, there was someone uh, over on the other side of the school who actually had a bike for sale and I thought, ooh, maybe I'll go over and look at that. That would be something different to do. Gardening, some heavy duty gardening, that would count. Um, Taking the dog out for a walk to my brother's where, you know, we can make laps of the farmhouse for hours. Um, but having that on a list handy so in the moment I don't have to try to reinvent the wheel. Okay, what am I going to do today? Nope, it's already written down. Here's my list. I'm picking this one today. That, that's my solution for my yeah, buts, and what ifs. What about for you? For your yeah, buts and what ifs, for whatever your thing is, that habit that you want to create that's going to be in your highest and best good and make you better, <laughs> what do you, how do you address the yeah, but, the what if, whatever it is? Okay, come up with something. All right. Now I want you to look at what, as far as we've come so far, can you see the self sabotage? Can you see how you set yourself up? to not resolve this issue, okay? I have another one. I'm gonna actually gonna run through this process once we're done, and that's gonna be my journaling prompt for the day. Um, why do I keep cycling back to a certain something that really isn't serving me, but I keep cycling back to it? What have I not figured out yet that I need to get, get figured out so that that can go by the wayside, all right? So then, Commitment, commitment. How do you um, put a commitment on this? And for some people, they're better off working toward something. For some people, they're better off setting up avoiding a negative. My daughter was someone who was all, all about avoiding the negative. Either you do this or I'm taking your phone away. Then she would do it. My son, that didn't work at all. For him, it was, if you do this, then you get that. Working toward a positive. That worked for him. Different people are wired different ways. What about for you? Many of us are wired such that and have trained ourselves up to be the people that until it's a crisis, we don't deal with it. And sometimes by the time it gets to be the crisis stage, it's kind of too late. And then we're mad at ourselves for not having addressed it earlier, for having allowed it to get to where it is. So, Mel, if commitment is a tough one for you, just commit to this for today. Just for today. Tomorrow you deal with tomorrow, make another commitment then. But it's a, a daily commitment. Or it's, we'll pull from AA here, it's an hourly commitment. If all you can commit to is the next hour of doing right by you, that's what you're going to do. If it's the next minute, so be it. It depends how much we're hanging on to life by our fingernails, doesn't it? So just for today. Yes, just for today. That's it. So I'm going to do that also. I've got some other things I have to do today that I'm not really excited about. Like my, they could make my life so much simpler. I have an auto ship for my dog's drugs through Chewy. I love Chewy. They're fabulous. Over the weekend, I get the auto email saying, your vet's office wants you to drive there 20 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever the hell it's going to be, pick up the prescriptions, bring them back, and mail them to Chewy. Why they can't expedite this, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's been a while since we've been in, but we've got an appointment on the books. But it's three weeks from now, which means he's going to run out of meds. So I have to schlep my butt there, schlep my butt home. Okay, I, I see some good things coming in. This is good. Awesome, awesome. Yep, just today. Just today. Also, the next best thing. That's another one I like. 
the next best thing. Just do the next best thing. That's all you're going to do. The next best thing. So, like, let's say you got a lot of clutter in your house. And you look around and you go, yeah, yuck, bleh. Good morning, Peggy. Glad you're here. Just pick the next best thing. So, for me, looking at my desk, I've got two of those um, book holder things, or you can put folders and stuff in them. My next best thing is going to be I'm cleaning those out because I've got some binders I want to put in them. That's it. I'm not cleaning off the whole desk. I'm not dealing with the whole clutter issue at once. I'm doing one thing. One thing. That's it. So there's your options. You can make your commitment just for today. That's it. Then tomorrow you look at it again. Well, gee, I really liked doing that yesterday. I felt so much better afterwards. I can make the commitment to do it again today one day at a time and pretty soon you've got history right okay awesome we got some good stuff coming in yes bringing quiet time and calmness into your life soul absolutely absolutely need to figure out when is best time to fit it in i will also make the suggestion that since what we're trying to create here is a habit attach it to habits you already have that already happen so if your morning routine, like my morning routine is typically I do my meditation, then I talk to you guys, then I do some journaling, blah, blah, blah. Once in a while, the order gets a little, well, like today, I couldn't get my meditation thing to work. So I ended up doing an insight timer instead. A little bit different, but at least there's enough of the routine there. So tack it on to something you already do that's routine. So let's say you're going to practice breathing more deeply. Let's say that's the one you want to accomplish. Maybe you link that up with being in the car. If you're a soccer mom and you're hauling kids all over the place still and whatever, whatever, maybe you put a little note on your steering wheel that says breathe and your car time is the time when you're practicing your nice deep belly breaths. Okay. Again, link it up to something you already do habitually and it's far more likely to happen. All right. So yay us, yay us for actually putting out there what is our thing we want to add more into our lives <clears throat> for taking a look at what's getting in the way of us doing it for coming up with a solution to that thing that's getting in the way and now making a commitment just for today just for today and then tomorrow you can make a commitment for tomorrow if you choose to but just for today I am and whatever it is you're gonna do all right so become better one little thing at a time. We're changing our trajectory here. Have an awesome day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.